Okay, in this video, we're looking at another version of a classic, a classic riddle, which is, um, well, which I'm referring to as the water jug riddle. And this will be our second version of this problem. And the, the premise of all of these riddles is basically the same. It's just that you have these two jugs of water and a hose, and your goal is to use those, those jugs of water and the hose to measure out some amount of water. Here the goal is to measure out um, exactly, I believe, three gallons. Yes, yeah, so I have a four gallon jug and a five gallon jug. This is the riddle. And a hose, right? That's the premise right there. How do I use all that to measure exactly three gallons of water? What can I do? Well, I'm sure there's many approaches to this, but part of our goal here is to find the fastest solution possible. In other words, we want to find a solution that takes the least amount of filling and pouring um, to measure um, our goal, which is three gallons. Now, my solution, I think, is the fastest, but, of course, I encourage you to try and find one that's even faster than this. Uh, what do I do? Well, the way I solve this is, um, let's say we have our four-gallon jug right here. Right, and it holds exactly four gallons of water. And then we have the five gallon jug a little bit larger right here. Well, my, my strategy is to first fill the four gallon up to the top or wherever the four gallon mark is. And then what I do is I take all of that liquid in the four gallon jug and I pour it into the five gallon jug. And if you think about what's going to happen is it's, it's going to fill the five gallon jug up Right, with four gallons of water, leaving what? Well, if you fill the five-gallon jug up with exactly four gallons, there'll be a gallon of empty space left. And this is um, the key to my solution right here, because now, if I fill up the four-gallon jug again, a second time, right, it's been emptied into the five-gallon jug, and I fill it up again, and then I pour it into the five-gallon jug. Well, if the five-gallon jug already had four gallons in it, that next batch of water, which will color purple now, just to illustrate, or let's just say the water has changed colors, we fill this four gallon jug up, we pour it, empty it as much as we can into the five gallon jug, and it will fill that one gallon of space right there. Now, what's going to be left in the four gallon jug? Well, we, we empty the four gallon jug into here, and we emptied one gallon into the five gallon jug. So, Whatever was in our four gallon jug, right, if you just picture it this way, there were four gallons. We emptied exactly one gallon out, right? This is gone now. This amount that's left is the amount you need, which is three gallons. So again, my steps are to fill the four, pour it into the five, fill up the four again, and then pour whatever you can into the five, and you'll have three gallons. And I believe that's the fastest solution. But if you have a better one, please let me know. Thanks.